everybody. Once again, this is Dorothy. And Judy. And here today, we are going to do a STEM video and we are going to do a hot chocolate science video. Yes. Yum. So it involves our favorite thing, which is hot chocolate. Hello. Yeah. Right here. Um, so it's a pretty simple video. Um, the equipment that you need is a cup and you can do your choice between water, because I'm going to do water, and Miss Judy's going to do milk. And we are going to use hot cocoa mix. Yep. And how many marshmallows? We have about 10 marshmallows each. So and what go we're going to do is uh, we're going to, once we mix in our hot cocoa, we're going to see if the milk or the water melts the marshmallows the fastest. So we, since we started, had to start this video and then go, we went ahead and did our temperature beforehand. Um, when we started it, we took the temperature of the liquid, again, mine's water, Mine was 150. What was yours when you started? Mine's 115.3. Okay, so. so milk is not as hot as the water. Um, so that's just something to note because this, this is, a, is a science experiment. So we're trying to track what we're doing. So let's go ahead and put our yep. hot cocoa mix in. Okay. Let me set this up so yeah. I can stir. And we'll do an overhead shot of watching the marshmallows melt. And of course, I'll make it go faster so you don't have to sit there forever. But yeah, it's fun, right? <laughs> okay. So what is your favorite thing to do when you're drinking hot chocolate, Miss Judy? Watch a movie. Oh. Especially a winter or Christmas movie. A winter. Like How the Grinch Sold Christmas. Yes. That's a good one. <laughs> or A Christmas Story. Or Elf. Oh. Ooh, sorry. Those are my favorite. <laughs> okay. Any of those will work. All right. So we mixed in our hot our hot cocoa mix. Do so we have to take our temperature again, right? Yes. So. Right. So we're taking it again. So just give us a few minutes or a few seconds. So my water has reduced to 143. Mine is actually going up. Oh, nice. <laughs> so what is yours? 117.4. Okay. So it actually went up a few degrees. So now we know 143 on and mine, and yours is 117.4. 117.4. So now we're going to, I'm going to turn that off so I'll lose the battery. We're going to yeah. go ahead and put our marshmallows in. Yes. And this is a point where I'm going to switch the video to overhead. Um, okay. we're going to watch them melt. And I'm going to start a timer on my phone so we can see how long it actually takes these marshmallows to melt. So we'll see you on the other side. we're back so it was about what we said 16, 16 minutes, minutes 16 minutes mm -hmm. had passed um for what you saw on the time lapse you noticed that it ended with the water one the marshmallows are almost completely melted yeah the i i could not pick up a marshmallow if i wanted to <laughs> i still have plenty of marshmallows in a pretty whole state on top of the milk so I, and see, as I'm stirring it, the marshmallows are completely disappearing into the water one. Yes. So, I think this explained our experiment in that we were able to melt the marshmallows in the water. And I wonder if that has something to do with, like, the weight of the liquid, possibly? Probably. Yeah. Maybe so. The weight of the liquid would definitely mm -hmm. make a difference on yeah. that whipped cream and mask. Water's going to get a lot hotter than the milk. Right. So, therefore, it's going to melt the marshmallows. A lot easier than the milk is. So now that you've completed your experiment, now you have a yummy treat. That's right. To enjoy, the right? Best part. So I very much encourage y'all to go try this. It does take a little bit of time, obviously. 
Um, it would be perfect with parents to do with kids because it does allow it to cool down to where mm-hmm. kids can drink it mm-hmm. and not burn themselves immediately. Yes. So that is a great aspect of this. But then they can also kind of see that there's differences between the weights of the liquid and how things melt and don't melt and the temperature and yes. all that stuff. You could try different temperatures. You could do things to make it even more interesting. Um, and then in the end, you get a special treat. That's right. Okay. To enjoy. So thank you for um, joining us with this video. We do have, I'll go ahead and do the spoiler alert. We do have two more coming up this month. Normally we only do two a month, but this month we're doing three. So we have two more that are coming up that are going to be fun and again, things you can do at home. Exactly. All right. So next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>